Hello friends and welcome to take two for this Wednesday the 26th of July 2023. I'm Jeannie. I am so glad that you have decided to come along for the ride today. Well, I was reading a story recently about a man who was a newlywed and he and his wife had didn't have a whole lot of money but they only had a little bit of broken down furniture they were first starting out and she said you know I really really could use a good table a kitchen table so they started looking at prices of kitchen tables and they just couldn't afford it but one thing that was made available to them anytime they wanted was her dad's old wood workshop so he was visiting they were visiting her his her parents one day and he said you know son anytime you want to use that old wood workshop you're welcome to do it so he started thinking about he said what do i know about woodworking but then he remembered you know that he had um, seen others do woodwork in the past so he went in he kind of toured around in it and he saw that it was in very good working order and he got this notion that he was going to make them a kitchen table so it was winter time they lived in a cold weather climate so he went in this old wood workshop and he and he had a fire going an old wood stove fire and and he started and and it took him quite a long time it took him weeks and weeks finally after maybe a month six weeks or so he was finished and he had produced a beautiful beautiful table well, unbeknownst to him, as a surprise, his wife had a plaque made, engraved, and it said, handcrafted by, and it had her husband's name, and it had the date, and they put it underneath the table on the underside, and he said, and hopefully this thing will last for years, and maybe even generations, and maybe my children, and my children's children, and maybe their children will be playing under the table one day, and look up at the date and the name, and say, oh, that's grandpa, that's great grandpa that made this table well a friend of his was visiting and he was looking at that table and he said my that's a really beautiful table this is many years later and he says that's a beautiful table he said uh, where did you buy that my table has fallen apart and he said well I didn't buy that I made that many years ago he said, really, is that right? Well, will you make me one? And he said, well, no, I don't think I can because this was handcrafted for a time, for a season by me, and it is my creation. And I just don't think that I have the time that uh, to be able to do one for you. So he, he politely turned him down for the offer. But see, I started thinking a lot about how relationships are like li uh, like that table, and I'll tell you how. Because if you don't pour your work into it, if you don't take the time to do it right, a relationship could be like building a piece of furniture. You have to put so much love and care. Now, could he have slapped a table together in a week or two using inferior products? Yeah, he probably could have. Would it have got use yeah maybe some but would it have lasted the test of time would it have been something that endured probably not and I'll tell you what the less you put into a relationship the less effort and energy you you that you exert to make that relationship work and and be right the ingredients that need to be in there the tools that need to be in there you know to make that uh, that table he had to use fine nails and he had to use good saws and he had to use the, all the right things the 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 right screws and all those things to make it perfect well if we don't put those right ingredients like love and patience and all the fruits of the spirit like it says in the bible if we don't including long suffering <laughs> If we don't put those ingredients into our relationships, they will be flimsy. Will they last? Well, maybe for a little while. Will they have any su substance to them? Probably not. And that's why so many people walk away hurt. Because they haven't put any effort into their relationships the way that man put all that effort into making that table. So listen... Do it, won't you? Make sure that if there's relationships with people that you love, people you care about, make sure that you put just as much effort into those relationships as that man did in making that fine piece of furniture so you can have a fine relationship. 
Now go out and be a blessing to somebody today because you may end up being the only one who is. And don't forget, boys and girls, to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Ding. Every time I post another take two, you will be notified. And please, great music, great programming. Don't forget to tune in to Through the Eyes of a New York Woman every Saturday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, AM and PM on UltimateOldiesRadio.com. That's me, by the way. And you could also hear an encore presentation on Oldies700.com, Oldies700.com on Sundays at 5 Eastern, 4 Central, AM and PM. Okay? You be blessed. Have a good one. And think about what I shared with you and put that extra effort in and start today. I love you. Bye-bye.